20 years YouTube questions 2018 video tag. Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. 2017 was um, the biggest transition in my whole entire life and uh, I felt that way and because of that um, I didn't feel like sharing very much. I actually got um, really disenchanted with social media and branding and content collaborations and I just didn't have the energy or interest to do any of the things anymore that um, had brought me so much joy before. I um, went through a rite of passage that every kid will go through at some point in my life or your life. Um, my dad died. It's kind of changed my perspective and my outlook in so many ways. Um, grief comes in waves. I think to me strength is vulnerability and I think before I thought that vulnerability was weakness and so I just didn't want to partake. Even now I just discovered the author Joan Didion and I love Joan's work and I'm just devouring it and my dad was a really voracious reader and you know I never I never read her while he was alive so I don't know if um, he ever read her work but you know, I had I had a moment the other day where I just really wanted to um, text my dad and say, you know, hey, there's a new Joan Didion doc out on Netflix. It's so good. Um, have you seen it? What books of hers have you read? But um, that that's when it feels final. That's that's when the grief really hits you. Um, is when you can't do that anymore. This actually was supposed to be the sound check take, but I sat down and just started talking, and so this will probably be the one that I use. I'm trying to present a more um, unfiltered and unedited version of my life. That's what I'm drawn to in other people that I enjoy their content. And I think there's something really liberating and freeing in that. Um, but more than anything, like, thank you. Happy 2018. Um, I've just slowly gotten my life more organized and um, in a place where Things feel manageable. I think when you're dealing with uh, transitions and grief, um, just really mundane small tasks can feel gigantic and such an energy drain. And so just small things here and there have helped me propel forward. I am going to do the 2018 tag, so let me go grab my phone. If you could look back on one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? I loved being back in New York. It was my first time going back for that long since I had lived there and I didn't go for work. So I had no meetings, no obligations, and I just let my days be filled with whatever I spontaneously felt like doing. I didn't make a ton of plans. I barely even knew like where I was going to be staying. Uh, it just felt so good to just be free and explore and if I wanted to stop in here I felt like I could because I didn't have to be anywhere by a certain time and it was really nice to just to be walking around and not in a car like I'm in LA all the time and I really needed that. It was a little bit bittersweet. I had FOMO because I had been invited that weekend to do the Blade Runner press junket and interview Ryan Gosling and Harrison Ford. And I almost cut my trip short in half so I could come back to do it. But um, I really felt like, you know what, no, I committed to this trip. I've planned this trip. I've been excited for this trip. There will always be another interview opportunity. So although it was very bittersweet, I'm glad I went for the full 10 days instead of coming back after I think it would have been four days. Um, and it was, it was really nice to be back. What was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? Um... Well, I didn't make resolutions last year very much. I was in survival mode last year. I I was just getting through the day to day. I, I think when you're in it, it's hard to have a vision to look forward because it feels like such a monumental task to just get through the day. And I'm sorry if that sounds dramatic, but hashtag sorry not sorry because it was hard to just get through some of the days and the weeks. Um, Energy-wise, I was depleted, and so I was proud of myself if I got out of the house some days, if that's being honest, but yeah. Three words to describe last year. Uh, transformative, slow, reflective. Those are the three, yeah. I think I learned 
I went through transformation dealing with grief. I was slow because uh, I, it was the first time I wasn't go, 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 go in a long time and reflective because it really made me pause and um, think about the things that I'm going to prioritize in my life and what I'm going to give my energy to. Our best music related creation inspiration last year by an artist in your opinion. Sorry if I butcher your name, Dua Lipa? Dua Lipa. I hope it's Dua Lipa because her song New Rules and Room for Two, both of those Oh my gosh, anthems. Anthems in my book, to a T, I listen to them nonstop over and over and over. I like that her style is eye-catching without trying too hard. She has a real ease about her. She just sort of like shows up and I like that she embraces women empowerment and I think that's so evident in her music and in her interviews and the way, the, her overall vibe. I love her something you look forward to in this coming year. I am, I feel like I am understanding my baselines, like where my standards are just for everyday living, um, what I want to put my energy into, what I want to invite into my life, and if something's not at the level in which I've learned I can't dip below, then I can't, I can't welcome it. <laughs> I just can't. And I'm looking forward to uh, really living that out because I've learned what those are, but then I think that the growth um, and the muscle comes from enabling it and, and enacting it. You know, when you're like, wait, I've been here before and that didn't work for me in the past, but now I know um, I'm not going to change where I'm at and what I'm ready for um, based on where you are. Like this is my, this is my, this is where I am and if you're not there I will meet you someplace else in the future. So what did last year teach you? Um, I learned life is really fleeting. I learned it goes like that. I learned that when you go you can't bring anything with you. I think that's something we all know but um, really looking and helping deal with my dad's stuff and realizing so many things that were held of such great value just ended up in a donation bin um, shows me that like now when I lose something or I've misplaced something or I didn't get something I wanted I think I just like let it go a lot quicker and I don't harbor on it because I just, I realize like it doesn't matter. Like none of that stuff matters. What was your most worn clothing item of the last year, number seven? I got the black and white Nike free runs and I fully embrace normcore. I think there's nothing cuter than like athleisure, athletic leisure. Um, there's something just really cool to me about like a very nice bag but with like Nike free run skinny jeans and like a white t-shirt but something about the black and the white looks really sharp and so I feel pulled together but I also feel like an athlete like it makes me feel like I look more sporty and um, working out became my savior this year so um, I love my Nike free runs they were amazing what are you hoping for more of this coming year um, I have a lot of project ideas and things that I would like to collab and work on and I think I'm actually gonna try <laughs> not just think about it and then imagine how cool it would be what are you hoping for less of this coming year clutter <laughs> less stuff um, minimalism is something I uh, embraced this year. I read the Kanmari Method, um, the life-changing magic of tidying up. And uh, you're supposed to go through all the items of your house and ask, does this spark joy? And if your immediate response is no, you give it away. Um, I did that and I gave away a lot of my belongings, like maybe three-fourths of it. And the stuff that was left is my most sacred and prized possessions. Um, but it felt really good to just like streamline and get rid of stuff. And so I was proud of that. What is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? Okay, so um, I turned 28 this year and um, I know, oh, woe is me. My metabolism just like went straight down. And so it was the first time I started like 
gaining weight and feeling weaker than I ever had in my adult life. And so I really looked at what I was eating and how much physical activity I was having. And now when I'm really exhausted in the morning, like I fully realize and believe that getting a workout in does give me endorphins and energy I wouldn't have just gotten from a cup of coffee. Um, I'm really trying to cut out processed foods. I think that the food industry puts a lot of things in our food that are dangerous to us, like chemicals and additives, and um, those aren't natural to our body. And so when we ingest them, our body doesn't know what to do with them. And so when you eat as close to the earth as possible and as wholesome as possible, it's much easier on your system. To me, this year, health, I've realized the absolute priority of health. Like nothing matters if you don't have your health. You can have the most beautiful house, so many possessions, you can have a million dollars in the bank, but if you have bad health and you can barely get the energy to get out of bed, it's worthless. I really appreciate all of you. Like I appreciate the people that have subscribed and watched my videos and given me this platform and place that I've gotten to do so many incredible opportunities and most of all like I am so grateful so thank you thank you thank you I'm really happy to be back doing videos and I can't wait to share more so bye guys okay I would say like I have totally seen um how much like animals <sighs> there's something about animals that um brings so much joy like hazel through everything i've gone through this year has really just been like a constant like she just takes all of my stress and anxiety and just absorbs it and then gives it back to me and like love and and just we're very connected i love her so much so uh thank you guys Please hit thumbs up if you love this video and comment below with what you're looking forward to in 2018 and um, thank you. Thank you so much.